Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Views back at you today with another one. And what I'm looking at is the 2021 Sierra Nevada Bigfoot Barley Wine Style Ale. Now, I've never re reviewed this on my channel. I've only had it a couple of times. I've, this is the first year that I've been able to get it. I did an examination with Mr. Ronald J. Terrio of Louisiana Beer Views and some other people were on the panel as well uh, a few Wednesdays ago, and I was I was very pleased. Uh, this is the 2020 version. It was packaged on December 22nd, 2020, and the IBUs are not listed on the label. I may have already said this. I hope I'm not repeating myself, but... Uh, the IBUs are 90. It's 9.6% ABV. So it's a pretty hefty brew. Extreme in the 80s and a force of flavor today. Bigfoot is a timeless beast of a beer, forever tracked for its enormous malt body and sheer hop intensity. Drink it fresh or cellar each year's expedition to unleash a world of new flavors over time. Now, Sierra Nevada is out of Chico, California. They also have a brewery now in Mills River, North Carolina, which is probably where this bottle came from. Very nice, classic label. They've only changed the label a couple of times over the years. It's remained pretty consistent. All right, I'm very excited to get into this beer. If I can find my bottle opener, there it is. Okay. And you know what? Sierra Nevada prices are really not that bad. I believe I paid $10 or $11.99 for the six-pack. That's right. Six-pack of 12-ounce bottles. All right. Let's pour this thing up. Okay. Nice two finger, relatively creamy, khaki colored head. The appearance is a rich, deep amber color, relatively clear. No sediment or anything like that floating around, even with the swish and pour. Mm. That is just such a great aroma. First of all, there's nothing on the nose that would indicate that this is a 9.6% alcohol beer. Being that this is still relatively fresh, you're definitely getting the hop character. If you cellar this, that would probably, you know, it might be a little bit more malt forward with the presentation, but the hops were definitely coming through a lot on the aroma. Some nice citrus tangerine, grapefruit, a little bit of a piney, resinous hop aroma as well. A lot of great malt character coming through on the nose. Also, caramel, almost a little bit of like a brown sugar note, toasted bread. Mmm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So very malty, very hoppy, a nice balance between the two. No alcohol, like I said, at 9.6. That's getting up there. It just smells, if you're a beer lover, craft beer lover, this aroma is, you're going to be very pleased with it. I don't see how you couldn't be. I've already got the formation of some glass lacing, nice head retention, Beautiful appearance, beautiful aroma, so I'm ready to get into it. What do you think? Should we do it? Let's do it. Cheers. Oh, man. Huh. So, from the aroma, you might think that the hops will be the first thing to come through, but really, the very first thing that I'm picking up on is that caramel malt sweetness. 
maybe actually a little bit of that brown sugar kind of translates. It's, it's got some nice bready notes right up front. And it is a little on the sweet side initially. Caramel sweetness, a little bit of toffee. It's very rich. You're getting some toffee notes as well. Mm. Definitely leads into a nice toasted bread crust note in the middle of the sip. White bread crust toasted, not wheat. White toasted bread crust. That toffee is outstanding. The, the toffee notes are really shining with this. Now the finish is is where the hops come into play. You're getting some tangerine cit citrus, a little bit of a grapefruit citrus. Some of the piney notes are coming through, but it's not really super resinous like I thought it might be from the aroma. You were getting some of those resinous type qualities. It's not super resinous. It's just a little bit piney, but it's not sappy. It's not resinous. It's not, it's not lingering with the hot bitterness. It drops off pretty quickly. It's very inviting. It makes you want to go right back in for another sip. It's crisp. It's refreshing. It's clean. It's dry. It's sessionable as sessionable can be for a 9.6%. The 90 IBUs, I wouldn't guess 90 IBUs. And, of course, if you age this, that would go down even more, and it would just become more of a malt forward, a very malty beer, a malt bomb. But, you know, it's not drinking like a 90 IBU beer because there's such a great balance between the malts and the hops. Mm. Absolutely incredible. Mm-mm-mm. The body is on the high end of medium, getting towards heavy. The carbonation is on the high end of medium as well. I'm going to give this a 98 out of 100. I really don't know what else can be said. It's just the perfect balance. It would be very well, you know, it would age very well, but this fresh is incredible. Perfect caramel and toffee, malty character, nice toasted white bread crust in the middle with that citrus, grapefruit, tangerine, slightly piney, but not, not too lingering on the finish. Very well balanced. No alcohol burn or anything really that would indicate that this is a 9.6%. But you can kind of tell that it's higher ABV just because of everything that's going on in the body and the just the uh, magnitude of the beer itself with the complexity and everything that you're getting. You kind of know that it's a higher ABV beer, but it drinks like much less than a 9.6. It's very smooth. So 98 out of 100 for the Sierra Nevada Bigfoot Barley Wine Style Ale. 2021 edition. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you can find this beer, buy it. It's an incredible beer. You will not be disappointed. And until next time, cheers, everybody.